Hello everyone, welcome back to the Trials and Tribulations of Simon Thorisden Hult, as his name has ever been, and I didn't choose it, don't look at me. Right, we're hungry and thirsty and we're tired, I've been reading a little bit, I'm trying to get my fabrication up to four, using this book on my screen left, The Fletcher's Friend, if we have a look at it, it's too dark to read. If we have a look at it, and bring a fabrication skill to four, but it requires fabrication level two to understand, we did have two, but only two, so we're on our way to three. Not as far as 87%, I had to do that twice. That was four two by fours that I got from downstairs. If you remember, the basement of this place has some sort of construct in it that I do not want to ever speak to. Uh, so I closed the door and ran away, and it's still there. Well, this means that apart from the supply that we have downstairs, <clears throat> which I will now uh, see fit to display unto you, we have all of these bookshelves and... Oh, actually, there's a huge amount of two by fours down here. The problem is getting them upstairs, right? We can move all of these two by fours. Uh, reset this filter. Um, no, ignore it. Up to you know the stairs here, but in doing so, it is essentially useless because we still have to pick them up two at a time. Thank you for saving the map at that point. Because we can't just drag them up the stairs in the same way that we're doing this. Um, what we can do is have a look around. Do we have any sort of large um, backpack or something like that? Because we're currently wearing just clothing, right? We have a six litre volume. We can carry up to 57 kilograms because we're strong as heck, but we can only carry up to six litres of things. Uh, and that's because we only really have pockets. It's a little bit abstracted because we have six litres of pockets, which means we can carry two by fours. Each pocket is not individually uh, managed. It just it, They're not modelled separately. It's just one big unit of six litres. Uh, so what we want to try and do is maybe... There is a... There's a plastic shopping bag, which probably won't help. Volume 0.25. This sheet has a volume under that's a, uh, hang on a minute. That's how big it is. And that's how big eight of them are. It's not the volume of the bag, right? This bag here, it could be actually. Let's wear this golf bag. Let's just examine it. Uh, let's do that again, but press E on it. And then we can see it does have 15 litres of storage. I clicked away by accident, but you probably saw that before it did so. Uh, we can make things out of some of these, but it's dark. It's going to make it difficult, and honestly, I might as well just wear it. This golf bag will help, although I'm not quite sure what a golf bag is as compared to... Alright, we're going to pick up as many of these as we can. Uh, it will help, because we could just start moving these until it's full, and then put them here. What I really want to do, ultimately, is we can craft a thing known as a brazier. Brazier, but it cannot be uh, crafted in the dark. Where does it say that? It doesn't. Normally it says dark craftable, impossible. It says too dark here though, so can craft too dark. Normally it says, oh here we go, dark craftable, impossible. So we need light, but when it gets to morning time, which is not far off, we can put together a brazier. A brazier is very similar in use to this oven that we've been using, and that you bung stuff in it, and it contains the fire and the smoke, which is interesting because a brazier to me is just a conical, um, not conical, conical. Uh, just a, a piece of metal or like a, a fire pit that you might have on your uh, barbecue mat or something. Uh, let's just pick up all of these. So what I want to do is have this brazier somewhere here and then I can grab these bookshelves and things and start dragging them around and put the seat, sort of put a chair here and a brazier here and then these are here or you know some, some arrangement similar to that. We can even watch TV if we ever turn it on. Uh, and then from this seat we can use anything. I'm not sure if we can use anything we can't see, but we can certainly use the things in this radius because they're within reach of searching when crafting and also we can see them at night time. So, the goal... Did I leave my screwdriver? Yes. Uh, the goal is then to have the brazier crafted, not the Fraser drafted. Let's do this differently. Uh, and then we can stop moving around so much. We don't have to worry about where all the things are. Uh, wh whenever we want to do something like, you know, where did I put this, where did I put that? It's going to be a case of put them in the right place um, when you 
you know, when you first uh, bring them home, and then ignore, ignore. Uh, you know, you can just you have a, a minor organization system. Good, uh, and also lead. What? North. All oh, right, it's from the um, from whatever was here. <laughs> what is this? Can I disassemble this? No. Can't disassemble the punching bag. What is this? Pinball machine. I had a dream about a pinball machine the other day. And I woke up feeling really melancholy <laughs> of all things because they don't exist anymore. I what this actually gets me in real life, we're talking about real life here, the the prob you know Simon Thoris and Hulk and Winge as far as I'm concerned. We are talking about interesting things. I think. The no, I don't want to do that. Yeah, nine. Um, arcades. You know, if you go to the cinema, for example, there's always some sort of arcade, and it's always got some sort of restrained, crippled version of uh, um, no, move that. Uh, you know, normal computers, right? Everyone who goes to the cinema these days has a PC or you know, an Xbox One or a PlayStation 4 or something like that. You know, there's people who don't have those things do not want to play on these silly machines that are just... They're, right, when was the last time you went, oh, I really want to play Time Crisis because I've not played it in years? You, you don't bother. Excuse me. In the southwest you hear, please kill me. Followed by an electronic voice saying, self-preservation protocols activated. My point is, not that, you know, Time Crisis is an old and tired uh, and outmoded form of entertainment, because honestly, you're at the cinema. <laughs> You've already got those things quite well sorted out for yourself. The problem is, there's room for a pinball machine there. Make use to do it, right? There's proper forms of entertainment like pinball machines and, and and I honestly can't think of anything that I'd rather see in an arcade than a pinball machine, but even that should be sufficient. Why can't we play with physical, actual hands-on devices that always used to exist? And they're so much more entertaining, they're much more tactile, they're more satisfying, you know, you can whack them properly and they will penalise you by yelling tilt and, you know, scaring you and making you feel silly in front of your friends, whereas Time Crisis at best there's like multiplayer, but everything's multiplayer, except for this game, but who cares? Uh, let's try and heat up, basically bring back the pinball machine, that's what I'm saying. Uh, let's just use percent here. Uh, heat up, heat up, heat up, heat up, alright, suit yourself. It doesn't pick up the frying pan when you use it to heat up the food. But it picks up a book, which makes sense in the picking up a book way, because obviously you need to pick up a book to read it, but it doesn't make sense because you also need to um, pick up a frying pan to heat food in it, so the frying pan stays where it was. Oh, I don't even have any bread right now. This episode is really going to be a certain amount of find food and find fuel. We've got a lot of fuel downstairs, which I did forget about at the end of the last episode. So we might just, um, I'm going to read for a while, but I might stop it when the light starts coming in. Mind you, we're not going to know about the light. Oh, good point. We have thoroughly blocked up this doorway. So we need to look, I mean, we've even put a, a wooden door down here. No light or sound or smell can get in or out of this place, really. Um, yeah, it's all the boarded up windows and stuff. So, let's put these things down. Let's put this away and have a peek outside and see what is what. We also need to drop... Haha, <laughs> don't forget. Is this where that was? Is this where that was? Here it is. Oops. Press D before you move around. Uh, drop this golf bag because that's going to be a problem. <laughs> We're wearing this golf bag for all sorts of reasons. Yes, it's actually daytime. So now we can probably craft that brazier except for the fact that now... Oh. Yeah, we've done it. So now let's drop... We So the way you use a brazier, 
see how the action is to deploy an item I press to use item, which is A, uh, we can deploy it here. This is different from merely putting it down, because if we examine it, we can take down the brazier, and this is a dropped brazier here. See that? We are now in pickup mode, so we pick up the brazier. So if we drop the brazier, it's just on the ground, which in real life seems exactly the same as you know deploying the brazier, except maybe you extend the legs or something. But now we can put uh, wood in that spotted zombie. That's fine. We need really, really to find some food. By the way, just looking at this screen, I think that my previous upload was horrible quality. At least I watched it on YouTube uh, just to see what I said I would do at the end of the last episode because I was going to you know, go away for five minutes and come back and record and now it's several days later and it's actually the 1st of January. I'm finally playing again, but uh, I had a look at it and it was horrible. What happened? I, I have no idea. So, this orchard may have some gains, mad gains for us, but honestly, we're going to have to hope that some of these houses have something. There's a Shrieker zombie that has seen us, so what we're going to do is we're going to step back inside. Not on the <laughs> shrub, please. Uh, and hope that we can fight them on our own terms. And hope that the Shrieker zombie... Oh, let's just check our encumbrance first. First there. First thing to check, what are we wielding? Fists. Let's not wield the fists. Let's wield our shield with combat knife left. Yes. Yes, draw. Now, we should check our encumbrance. Uh, we do have... Why is this green? Torso. Doesn't seem to be anything particularly wrong with the... Oh, I see. The thing we're pointing at on the left here highlights here which... Um, parts it covers. See that? So nothing is hugely encumbered except our hands because we're wearing gloves, but we are comfortable. If we took the gloves off, I expect that would be a problem. So we're probably not going to do that. We've got 50 warmth on those. I don't really have time to take them off, to be quite honest, quite honest with you. So I'm just going to stay here. Shriek on me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, stand in this bush. Stab this. Can we get it before it gets us? Yes. Uh, I'm kind of ignoring the right-hand side, but we should really pay attention. From the west, you hear a terrible shriek. That is likely to attract the attention of um, other things. Yes, stop. Because this one, for example, has heard that terrible shriek and is on its heckin' way. Oh, by the way, speaking of 2x4s... Um, there's a table outside. I'm going to ignore the thumping in my ears, if you don't very much mind. And uh, pause. I need what's left of it for scavengers. Please. Pause for five minutes to get my breath back. I I know that we should probably move all of this. Like this. Actually, let's move it this way. Um, it would be nice to have <laughs> a, a, a brolly at this point, because we're probably losing a lot of morale due to being quite, quite damp. There's a lot of tainted meat. Unfortunately, we can't eat it. I should really use this slash here so that I don't have to keep looking for it. But then I have to find this comma. Look, having the microphone in the way is not helpful. <laughs> but if I don't have it here, you can't hear me, which may be preferable for some sarcastic people, but it's not why I'm here. So... Let's go grab this again. Let's have a look at our morale. We're wet, which is minus 32. We're somewhere in... We're okay. We are tired, which is going to be a bit of a problem if it comes to fighting. Let's have a look at the map, see if we can figure out where the horde is. It's over there by that electronics store. That's only some of it, though, I'm sure. Uh, and there's an orchard, which we're going to check out now. Fat zombie. I think we're okay to ignore most of the enemies right now. If we become super tired, why? Super tired? I think the zombie necromancer itself is not too dangerous. It's actually a humanoid enemy uh, rather than a undead. A twisted mockery of the human form, emaciated with jet black skin and glowing red eyes, is a goth. It's somehow painful to look at, awakening fears deep within your psyche, and even the air around it seems more sinister, somehow darker, and more dangerous. So we would like that to go away, <laughs> please. Simply because. I was going to say there's two of them. There are not two of them. It's just it's saying it. If I keep pressing it, it's going to X. 
increase that number of times that we've seen it. It's the number of times it's telling you off that we're not going to do anything about it. We need a charged cash card to purchase things. Do we not have one? Let's do it this way. Uh, grabbed item inventory. Gra gra dragged. There we go. Um, cash cards, yes. To carry all of them. I don't think they have any volume just to make things easier for you. There is food in here. We're hungry. This is a drinks machine. Okay. Fat zombie has seen us. Let's uh, let's deal with this. We don't want to be caught in a pickle, particularly. I don't want to get the the fat zombie is quite likely, I believe, to wreck my um, my, my trolley. So I'm not going to use the tactic of getting that zombie to walk over my trolley, thereby ruining it. Because it's a fat zombie, so let's stop stop running. Uh, it's heavier. <laughs> it's gonna do more damage. Wait for five minutes. I don't want to wait for five minutes. I want to wait for like thirty seconds just to chill out a little bit. But five minutes is what we get. So five minutes it is. That's a tennis net with a lot of string involved. It looks like there's a, a collection of things here. Fifteen wires. It might be nice actually. Let's um take everything and put them in here. I assume that is. A length of thin, relatively stiff steel wire, like sort of like yeah. Okay, so you can make. You, I think you can literally make a fence out of this. So we should at least try. Obviously, we've been inside this house. So now we want to try and sneak around the back without the zombie necromancer seeing us, if possible. I'm looking here, by the way. This tells you what enemies there are in those eight directions. So if we keep going. It will eventually say there'll be a letter. Oops, don't bash the mic. If we can see something of that ilk. We still can't. That looks good. It's the first A kit on the ground. We do want that, but let's not get so hung up on it that we actually cause ourselves to take more damage than we would have done if we hadn't. Right, so this orchard is... Obviously it is an orchard. There's no point saying this orchard is an orchard. But... Why is the zombie child right up there? Wow. Okay, I mean, you can see me. Fair enough, fair enough. Uh, in the summertime, when the weather is high, you can stretch right up and touch the sky, William Shatner style. Um, I, oh, you see me? Uh, I forgot what I'm saying. These apple trees will contain stuff. Step on it. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. kill this zombie quick. Okay, good. Right, let's get in the way of here. Uh, a nearby zombie has risen from the dead. Yep, so that zombie necromancer I expect, and I'm very much... I'd be very unsurprised if it wasn't the case, uh, is going to resurrect the zombies around me and run away from me. Actually, that was really easy, so I don't know what I was afraid of. Uh, yeah, it's going to resurrect zombies that I've already killed and not butchered, which is that one, because I didn't have time to butcher it because there was a zombie necromancer. On my trail. Trail. Okay, good. Uh, I, I don't think this is um, undead, but I'm still going to do this. Just because. Okay, still tainted meat. Eh, don't need any of that. This zombie is going to have left all of the clothes and stuff over here. Sure. What else have we got? Just, just rubbish. Might as well forage there. There's a metal post. Spotted zombie. Zombie soldier, no thank you. Okay. We have actually that was quite easy. The zombie necromancer is D E A D dead. So we don't have to worry about that anymore, which is I was worried about it, so I'm I'm glad we don't have to now. This is an interesting situation. Uh this is a looks like a garage with no 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 door. That was uh fairly easy. Happy with that. Alright, alright, alright. Let's uh, keep taking it slowly, yes, because I don't want to, yeah, there you are, I see you. Um, I don't want to be ambushed while doing useful and sensible things. That is a dirt. Is it really? Why is it special? <laughs> Smashable. Okay. I'm just waiting for that shrieker zombie to get to me. Look at this Zeds over here, by the way. 
So there's a lot of horde in that direction. I think that's giving us information that they're over there. They're not literally on those tiles. So that's okay. But this Shrieker zombie uh, would do well to get over here if it's going to. What happens if we smash this? Crump, 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 crunch. What have we got? Wood. <laughs> so it's just a, a wooden thing. Uh, a spitter zombie now. Golly gosh. Right, okay. I mean, there's going to be a lot of zombies around here because of the fact that the horde is nearby. Don't bash the microphone. Um, but, I mean, we can probably still get away with exploring a little bit. So I can now hear this zombie trying to break this wall down. We could just step inside here, right? Close this. I'm now twice guilty about killing that child because obviously <laughs> it got up again and I had to kill it again. That wasn't fun. I don't like this carpet, by the way. Whose idea was this? What is this? Peek through peephole. Uh, yes. <laughs> Let's leave. Very much now. Because they're all on their way towards me, and I don't want them to be. The Shrieker zombie has seen. I don't. Shush! Leave me alone! <laughs> okay, good. <gasps> Let's get out of here. Whilst we still can. We're very hungry, thirsty, and tired, and soaking wet. We're quite upset. Um, so we should get somewhere else. <laughs> we can probably survive on. Um, what we have. It's not the best of food, but it's you know, candy, that sort of thing. Let's um, get running. Wait for this to come around the corner. Two stabs and step. Okay, good. I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> oh. oh, Nostradamus. Nostral Damus. I get it. Nope. We g Do you want to try... Let's try attaching that as a gun mod at some point. There's a cash card. The, it was an option in the button I, I accidentally just pressed. Um, but what I actually want to do is go... Oh, it's a trash can. I was hoping that there'd be a, a snacks machine to go with this drinks machine, but there isn't. Oh, it's just a bin. It's just a bin. It's over here. Filthy food. Very hungry and quite thirsty. We're tired. We should start doing things at night, I know. Especially uh, traipsing around the place like this. This is still going, which is nice. Um... Can we make anything? We didn't really find much, which is annoying, because all we can do is make... I mean, sweet water is water with honey in it, which is more calorific, but not very much more calorific. It's almost not worth making. <laughs> what can we eat? Starch. It's going to be horrible. It's past its midlife. We can eat a whole bunch of crisps. Because they'll make us happy and less hungry, which is always a benefit. Well, it's not always a benefit, but right now it's a super benefit. This pesto, I've been holding off on eating this pesto because it seemed preposterous, but we have to. So, letters. I'm just gonna, this is going to make us more thirsty, by the way. You can see it has a negative quench, but only a slightly amount. A slightly amount. It's not like these tortilla chips, which are all sorts of um, thirst inducing. There's actually calories in vodka, but it will <laughs> make us more thirsty. Sometimes this is a good idea because if you can't eat anymore or you can't drink anymore but you need to eat something just eat some starch and have done with it. That was horrible but that's okay. It's alright, the guilty about killing that child has been more than overridden by eating a bag of potato crisps. So, you know, easy come easy go. Uh, let's not sleep there. Let's see if we can finish reading. I mean, there's so much more to read here. Maybe not that. Let's read this rest of this. And then we can start. We might actually want to make a bow. Which is going to be another uh, benefit to this. We should even see if we can. You know, we're quite warm. But we're happy. That's okay. Uh, it's gone out. Okay. Bow. Slash. Bow. Enter. Uh, we need a lot more string to make a short bow. But it's probably worth doing so. A self bow is basically a bow designed for you etc. So. Primitive bow, bow fashioned from a single piece of wood made specifically for the person using it which is why it's a self bow. Real weak and wildly inaccurate it doesn't work that well. However a short bow, not as powerful as a long bow, quicker and easier to draw, 
effectively those of average strength, good for the small game or survivor on the go. We can wear a bow if we need to, in the same manner that we are currently wearing a rifle, which by the way, in a pickle, we should remember that we have and use it because I'd rather make a lot of noise and attract attention than die. So let's remember that. Um, can we also make arrows? Yes. A heavy field point arrow. This arrow is significantly sturdier than other wooden arrows. It has a crude field point head and flesh. Good chance of remaining intact. It also does six damage and some armor pierce as well, which is great. If we're running away from something, we can sort of run, turn, and fire, and we stand a good chance of damaging uh, zombies with that. What we really want is something like the heavy wooden arrow. Which, oh, we could actually make those. So this is a good idea. Let's go to sleep. But not for too long. Do you know what? Let's not go to sleep. Let's go down because it's the middle of the day. We do want to do stuff at night. You're right. Uh, I've not forgotten. But we have a lot of scrap metal down here, which we can use to uh, nothing there. Okay. Um, we can use those. A lot of rags. And a lot of the string that's sort of lying around the place. Long string. There we go. Let's pick up everything that I've got that's approximately correct. I'm just going to sit in the doorway. Do you know what? Let's um, grab this chair. Move this trolley out of the way. Grab this chair. Move the trolley out of the way. There we go. We can now sit in the doorway. We can fabricate watching the world go by. How good is that? Uh, bow. We cannot make a bow yet because we can. Okay. Let's try it. Oh, it's nearby. Well, I'll use the one on my person because obviously it's uh, taking up space. And then we can create arrow. Uh, what did we need for that? Glue, duct tape, thread. We can manage that. Let's drop things that we need to use. One thing we're going to want to do here is put all this money on the same cash card. That way we've got plastic that we can use from the other cash cards which are now empty. Um, mind you, I don't know if it's... It used to have one inventory item for each cash card. And it would tell you how much was on each one. But now it's just got five cash cards with a total, which means we don't know which one we're going to use if we do. There's, there's no differentiation between them. We might want to say just use the one that's only got a few dollars on it, right? Or <laughs> we might want to be more careful than that. Uh, or, uh, and actually go away and put all the money onto another one and then we've got a lot with zero on them, which is ideal. Um, we are looking for what? Arrow. I mean, we can make it here, it's just too dark. There is duct tape and plant fiber nearby. Plant fiber, is it down here? Probably near. Is it here? Near. Is it here? Near. Here? No. Here? <laughs> Where are you? I beseech thee. Is it in the bin? Where? Oh, there. That's my inventory, please. There we go. Also, remember, go back to this and reset this filter, because <laughs> if you don't, you're going to be like, where's all my stuff gone? Arrow. Interesting. Heavy wooden arrow is what we want, because we now have scrap metal meant to get it downstairs, remember. Damage 12, armor's pierce 5, range 8. Dispersion 60, that is how inaccurate it is, basically. Metal arrowhead and fletching. Metal fletching? Plant fibre, scrap metal, heavy sticks. One plastic bag. I'm going to use the plastic bag for this. How many do we get? Hello? 10. So we're going to get 10 heavy wooden arrows and we'll use the plastic bag. We waste some materials. What did we waste? Uh, no heavy sticks left. That's okay. Uh, let's put the plant fiber down. I'm actually going to take the cash cards and put them in here. They are still nearby, but I'm not going to use them by accident if they're not on my person. Ha ha ha. Uh, let's disassemble this. And then this should count as a nearby 
Uh, it doesn't look <laughs> fine. Suit your heckin' self. That was minus, by the way. Let's move that stack there. And now we should be able to do that. Uh, yes. Plastic bag. Try again. We used all our plant fiber trying to do that. All right. I mean, we can probably find more plant fiber. This is, by the way, this is using survival and archery. It tells you when you try and make it. So if you go to arrow again, um, archery level five. Is that level five? I think that might be level five. Difficulty five, skill level three. Maybe we should try something else like this one. But this should be leveling our archery up quite fast. It's not. Why is my skill level 3? It's not based on this, clearly. What? Arrow. This says, difficulty 5, my skill level 3. So that must be a separate... Primary skill used fabrication. Other skills, archery 5 and survival 1. So maybe the problem is I don't have a good enough archery skill. Because my fabrication skill is 3. That makes sense. Can we continue to read this? Right, okay, now we can stop reading. It's far too tired to bother reading right now. So we will sleep. And we will sleep for 17 and 10, until 11 o'clock. Now, of course, we want to go hunting because it's going to be night time. It didn't go too well because we failed to make most of the thing. We've wasted a lot of materials, which is a big deal there. We're going to have to go and figure out. Uh, so I don't want to waste the duct tape because that's kind of more generally useful. Um, so I'd like to go and find some more plant fiber because that seems like more of a survivalist thing to do anyway, right? Check the lines or something. Go that way. Thank you. Uh, so let's, let's just step outside. What's this? Salt, I remember. <sighs> okay, well. In the next episode, <laughs> let's go hunting. Um, we have not made much progress in this episode, although I've talked a lot and pressed a lot of buttons. Um, we didn't get nearly as much done as we wanted to do, which is a shame. Um, so we need to go and find some more food that is going to be more nutritious uh, than just this water. I mean, it's great that we can just indefinitely make water, at least for now, because we've got a supply of it and several more nearby, but we don't have enough food. No, we can eat these sweets until we... Oops. We can eat these sweets until we come home. Until the... You know, the, the cows come home. But it's not going to help. Also, they keep changing their numbers. <laughs> it's like you've eaten the wrong thing. So we're still hungry, thirsty, and tired, but we're ludicrously happy because we're eating all these sweeties. So in the next episode, we're going to have to go and figure out where to get food from. And honestly, I don't know. We don't have any arrows for our bow yet because we may have just bitten off more than we can chew with that and wasted a lot of materials creating something that we can't have. There are several more houses that we can go and look in. And we do have an outpost. That's the word, outpost. Um, small wooded trail, a pavilion. See, these things might have it. We can go around the back of town. We can sneak around the back, avoid minefields. Then may was there a minefield? Um, I know that there's a swamp here, but that's kind of really clearly marked, right? So we don't have to worry about that because we can see it. Um, but we want to go around the back just to avoid the zombie-infested streets. There's also this survival shelter, which is not where we started. We started in a, a plane crash over here somewhere, like probably bang in the middle of this and um, explored area, right? Athens, fair enough. So we could go here and hope there's something in there, but there's so much to explore. If we started here, the first thing we would do is explore all of this lot. But also we would go back here and make a base. Probably, that would be a sensible place to put it. We would also like to find a castle. Let's do all of this in the next episode. These are the plans. This is what we're going to do. We're going to find some food. We're going to find a working vehicle. And we're going to finally make some arrows for our bow so we can start shooting things from a distance and keep ourselves out of harm's way a little bit more because obviously when we went over here there are a few too many baddies for me to be uh, too happy with military zombies and stuff like that so we don't want to tackle those if we can avoid it and they're the ones that the armor pierce is going to be good for so till the next episode thank you for watching and i'll see you